Heck yeah! Absolute badass. No, I didn't activate Nightbot. How will we not listen to music requests? How are we gonna not listen to them? Press any button. Which one is the any button? <sighs> Excuse me. I've got a fire in my belly. And it makes me strong. Three hours, what's that? Not well, three hours, three days. Goodness. Three days of game time. How did I manage that? Three days. I haven't even scratched the surface yet. Didn't even. have to what was what was uh what's this game about anyway what, what's this what is this is this a is this a gun game is this a fight game oh nick valentine's with me so i suppose what i was up to was uh Collecting these things. <laughs> As usual. As usual, this game is about collecting things, I believe. I'm not sure, actually. It was the backstory to him. So, at level... F I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? At level 50, you get a skill point for this. And at 47, you get a skill point for that. And at 46, you get a skill point for that. You get skill points for all of these things. So I'm, I'm holding two. So wait, what? So I've got... So at 46... Okay, so if there's one for 46. There's one for 47. There's one for... 49... There's one for 50. So I can get something that's two points. I can get two or three points in something. If I want to. If I would like to, that is. I could get two points in local leader. Wait, you can zoom into this thing? Oh. <laughs> well, that's interesting. That's, uh, I wasn't expecting that. That's a good, that's a good feature. That's a great feature, you zoom into the map. How do I teleport? Shay, how you doing? What's the haps? How do I drive this thing? Oh, I can't go there because... Oh no, yes I can. Oh, no, yeah, I haven't discovered this place yet. How's that possible? I've cleared it. How can I have cleared the spot and never been there? Good grief. I see you moved. I did. I did. 
northern hemisphere. So it's much warmer, I have to say. Oof. Hold on, is this the same shirt that I wore yesterday? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to change this up. I'm gonna have to change this up. No, you can't watch. <sighs> Make sure I do this right. Alright, I've returned. Oh no, I didn't close the thing at the back again. I don't need anybody knowing what books I own. I don't, that's, that's information for me and me alone. That's secret. Only I may know that I own uh, a copy of uh, He's Just Not That Into You. <laughs> What's going on here? Whoa! What the hell? I'm dead! Off, t off to a bad start. I didn't even know there were invincible en invincible, invisible enemies. What? What? Oh, just when you think you've seen it all. You get it? Seen it all? It's an invisible enemy? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's gonna go in my stand-up special. In my compilation video of all the best moments on this stream. That's gonna be there. Right at the top. Just another great moment. That load was uh, that was that load was quite long. For a moment there, I thought, "What if the game is just that's it? If you die, game over, <laughs> game over. Just you, you're not allowed to play anymore." Oh, well, actually, that w that's that is a thing. That is a thing these days. That's permadeath. Although I guess permadeath was always a thing. Well, not... I mean, in the sense that you would have to start the game from the start in some of those early games. If you run out of lives, you start from the start. It's not permadeath because you got multiple lives, but still, it's the same thing. Actually, is it like Pac-Man Pac and stuff? That's, that's permadeath. You only get one go. I think. Where is this invisible devil? What the heck? It's not invisible this time. Now it's uh, crawling across the floor. What's it doing? What? Oh my god. It it zapped my head off.
I don't know what this. I don't know what this creature is. I don't know what this creature is. It feels like somebody has increased my difficulty from zero to something. Voidos, thanks for the follow, mate. How you doing? I don't know what that was. I have to go to the menu. I've got to go to my options here, my settings. Oh, that's it. I was right. I was, I was, I was dead right on that one. Wait, what does that say? Survival adds additional challenges such as no fast travel and saving only when you sleep. Chance of it. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, I, if I have to do the same, if I have to struggle through something, and, and by struggle, I mean put any effort into it, that's, that's not going to slide. That's not going to slide, pal. No, sir. I keep getting called. By these telemarketers. And then they leave a message... And it's, th it's just them yelling, hello? Hello? Four hours ago. Quincy wow. A tourist hot spot before the gunners moved in. Jeez. All right, let's do a quick save. Although now I think... Uh, Having changed it to very easy, returning it to very easy, as <laughs> as were the first uh, three days worth of game time. Weapons hot. Jeez, this thing is this thing is still strong. It is still incredibly strong. Wow. Oh, I was carrying a... That's right, I was carrying a finely tuned amount of weight as well. It was all finely tuned. <sighs> I don't know, is this some sort of... Uh All right. I'm so impressed that how strong that enemy is. And you think, oh, you got it crawling on the ground. It's finished. It is done. It's just getting started. What the? What is this computer for? I assume this computer is going to tell me the location of uh, more computers. No, these. What are these called? I haven't played this game in like two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> I don't remember anything. Sweet. I don't know the lingo. I can't. I can't whack. What is this? Oh, okay. Can't wax poetic. Play. All right, so there are two more. Bobby, we discussed this. You hook it up with your stepsister is your own friggin' business. But you talk too sweet. Look, maybe you babble about baseball or sex shows. Or you could be in chat about those three bodies calling O'Malley dumped in the sand trap of Arlington Green. You want to take that chance? I know I don't. Sorry, Rob. Babbling away. Aha, uh -huh, I see exactly where they are. Collecting them all, and then we'll piece it all together, and then we'll see if this guy... Where is he? Where's he hiding? Where's this Eddie fella? He was up to no good. He's causing trouble. 
in my neighborhood. We're going to have to sort him out. Sort him out like a deck of cards. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can block this number. Although maybe I should... Uh, maybe I should first hear the message. Just them saying hello over and over and over again. Alright, let's add it. Let's add it to the block list. What's my how many phone how many phone numbers have I blocked at this point? Let's let's have a look. Block numbers. Alright. Twenty-three. It's alright. That's alright. That's fine. <laughs> that's co that's completely okay. How much am I carrying that I'm carrying too much? Oh, slightly too much. Mysterious serum. Mm. I think I should, I should... Wait, you can actually repair yourself with a robot repair kit? I mean, that doesn't seem right. I mean, that doesn't seem right. I'm not a robot. Maybe I'm one of those, uh... One of those synthetics. Is that floating? Is that tower floating? We have to hide be behind the trees. It might, it might sprout a base if we get too close. There it is. <laughs> wow. It just it just doesn't load it. The draw distance is just... It's just the gift that keeps on giving. It really, really is. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Come on, Nick, mate. You gotta, you gotta take some shots. Oh wait, I've got. Uh... Oh, nice. Oh, this is wonderful, actually. With this mega sight. Great. When was the last Borderlands? Oh yeah, it was that pre-sequel. Which was, uh... How would you describe the reception? The luke lukewarm reception. Second one was a lot of fun, but when's the next one? When's that coming out? Although it's sort of the kind of game where... They would only make it... If, uh, they could really move it forwards. I, I get the feeling, at least, that they wouldn't, they wouldn't just release one for the sake of releasing one. They would actually, nice. uh, put some, put some level of care into it. I don't know why. I don't know why I get that impression. I suppose because there's only been two of them, and a sort of, and, and like a two and a half... No, I, I guess I guess that's exactly the kind of game that appeals to me. Like it's it's funny, it's silly, but there's a lot of good shooting in it. Got it. Although I suppose I suppose Borderlands was a bit was like a little bit ahead of the curve, really, because 
when you compare it to what came afterwards in uh, like Destiny and the Division, it was yeah, it was a little ahead of its ahead of its time. I'd actually say, I reckon. But I think it, I think it's the saving grace is that it's a funny game, whereas Destiny and the Vision are they, they take themselves too seriously, That's and it. so if they're not if they're not great games if they're not perfect games then you sort of can't. Uh, I don't think you can let them slide as much as you can with Borderlands because it's like oh it's a fun game it's a silly game and it's like oh why isn't it this why isn't it that you're like oh relax it's just for fun like it's such a it's such a good position to be in you can just keep <laughs> you, can, you can just defend the game from any criticism now nah, you're taking it too seriously whereas uh whereas with the other d's the destinies and the divisions you you know you can't really do that if it's a serious game it's like well why why doesn't it have this why doesn't it have that well you can't you, you, that's you got to cop it on the chin you've got to take that criticism yes oh it's on top <laughs> oh my bad I thought it was inside. What? How did I... I must have picked something up again. I think I could just go... I, I honestly think I could probably just... Put more points into... Yeah, just this, just this. Just put another point into strength. And then I'll be able to move again. How much does that give me? That's like 10 points per level? Yeah. I think that's just easier. Considering that I don't think the I don't think those perks are ever gonna be too too enticing to me, so. I'll just get something that I actually need. Something that'll help me play the game. So I mean at the end of the day, that's what the perks are for, right? You take the ones that help you help play your play your playstyle. And if my playstyle is being really, really, really close <laughs> to my carry limit, to the point where I need to put a point into strength just to keep playing, well, that's that's my playstyle. So. Huh? Who are you talking to? I haven't really explored this side of the map. I've explored this this part pretty pretty well but the other part nah so this is the last one all right let's see let's see how this eddie winter story ends with this nick valentine story how does it all come together come together <sighs> excuse me i just ate Right now, over me. But yeah, I, I've actually never thought. I've never. I've never pieced the uh, Borderlands to like pieced it together in the grand scheme of things a shooter where your guns have numbers on them 
and then there's lots of them. And I remember that was the that was one of the main reasons why people were so disappointed by a Destiny in the first place was that the rate at which you got the loot was so low. It was so low in comparison to uh, Borderlands. Like, it just... <laughs> Unbelievably so. It was just not a satisfying game in comparison. You had to work too hard. Too damn hard. See what's hey? Where do we go? See what? So you got something for me? Maybe a pocket full of tapes belonging to an old pack of full of tapes. We'll temporarily remove. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Yeah. Here, take them. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's some real solid detective work. Some of they're older than dirt, but they've got Eddie's paw prints all over them. These are the real deal, and they've still got the code pieces in them. Let me temporarily. I wonder for how long. Got it. One. Nine, oh, okay. He figured it out immediately. Three, seven, two, <laughs> so how long is he being removed for? I don't get it. Or is he gonna? That old thug's holed up in Andrew's station. Now, let's go bring down Eddie Winter. Oh. Are you Are you so you're not you're not in my team anymore but you seem to you seem to be a little stuck. <laughs> yeah, so carry weight is 350 which tells me that that is the case. Travel to Eddie's hideout. Which is where? Here. Alright, I might as well just teleport. I suppose he'll be there? Will it break? That's a good question. I think I'm going to do a save. Because <laughs> you never know. You never know. You save the game it, it, and you, before you, tra you fast travel. You might save yourself some grief. This burnt piece of pizza. Just teleporting all over the place. Let's see what happens. I swear I've killed these these sa very same raiders so many times at this point. Because I always end up w running around this place. I don't know why. It just... Must have been exploring and I had some things to do here. Must have been. 
Well, now the one's down there. Where'd you go? Are we a team again, or what? You wanna work together? You wanna come with me? Hey, Valentine. Never would have made it this far without you. <laughs> Alright, let's go. After you, sir. So there's there isn't gonna be any talking here. We we'll just. Straight into the shooting. All right. <laughs> He's a, he doesn't care about stealth. <laughs> stealth is for for people who don't think they can win in a uh, in an open fair battle. That's... that's what Nick Valentine thinks. Wow, destructible environments. Pretty good. Where is this guy? Lead, lead, lead us to him. Where's this Eddie fella, huh? Upstairs, 55 units. Why did we run down here then? Nick, finally time for Eddie Winter to get his due. Uh huh. Goodness. Are you calling their head a destructible environment? <laughs> I wasn't, but I should have. That's very. That's very clever. That's very cheeky. How you doing? How you doing, man? I don't want to say I don't want to say your full name because it's too formal. <laughs> it's, I don't want to say I, I'll only refer to you by your full name if you're in trouble. You know, not bad. That's that's not bad to hear. Oh, you know, it's all good. Got it. It's all good. I don't know. If, for the first time in a while, I think everything's gonna be okay. What is that? Lights out. We're going the stealth route. Yeah. Ah. Sweet. I don't know. I wish there was a way to uh, complete this game. But it seems, uh, it seems there's too much. Maybe I'll finally start doing the main storyline. <laughs> Maybe I will. If only there was a way to finish it. Sort of just need to, uh, you need to draw the line somewhere, I suppose. I want to see this, this, and this, and that's it. Oh, jeez. I level 46. I mean, I don't want to, uh, and I don't, I don't want to, and I don't need to explore all the Oblivion gates. I think that's safe to say. Safe to say that I don't need to do that. So what was level 46? What was the buff that I could get? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Wait, what? Double damage. Oof. That's not bad. Double damage. It's not bad at all. 
But this is really cool because I didn't even realize, like I played the first million hours of this game without a companion and then it turns out, oh, if you have a companion, it's actually, they have storylines. So this is going to be interesting to see what happens when I finish this storyline. I suppose I'll let Nick Valentine hang out wherever, back in the house or whatever. Um... And see if there's somebody else who wants to assist me. Take Preston Garvey himself. Preston Harvey. Where are we going? This is... Is this what it feels like to be a companion? Just following a character like that? Is that, is that what it feels like? He's just going. I have no idea where we're going. Why don't you do the sure. Confront. Okay. Who the fuck am I? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I'm Eddie Winter, and you're in my bunker. Just how the fuck did you get? No, no way. Not after all this time. Don't tell me you actually cracked my code. In the hollow tapes? <laughs> well, hey, it's only been what? Two hundred years? Why would you even have a code? <laughs> Not sure what you thought you'd find. Gold, jewels, the secrets of the universe. It's a nice but shirt. Get me. One guy. A ghoul, I guess you'd call me. Just living, surviving, and what I got, you can't have. That code? <laughs> it was a joke. I just wanted to prove how dumb those feds were. Turns out, pretty dumb. So take your asses someplace else. So you managed to get what I came for. Yeah, and what's that? Who are you, huh? You look kind of familiar. But what are you, some kind of robot? Is that what it's like out there now? A world of robot overlords? The name's Valentine. Nick Valentine. Remember me? Valentine? The cop? Is that who you're supposed to be? This is Sorry, engrossing. But you ain't Nick Valentine. You're just some kind of, uh, machine. You killed my fiance. Jennifer Lance. Some crimes even you can't get away with, Winter. Your fiance? You mean Valentine's fiance? Pretty girl. Kind of shame looking. But hey, you? Or, you know, the real Valentine? You should have backed off when he had the chance. But what gives, Robot Man? Why do you even care? You girl just whacked 200 years ago, and you come into my home acting like a hot guy? Christ, look at you. You're not even alive. Then I guess I'm in good company. <laughs> Why don't you do the honors? Use that use that blade of yours. Oh my god. He just he used that that special voodoo blade. He sent him into some Valentine loved that. Wow. Sent his soul to the Shadow Realm. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, buddy. I'm, th those clothes are in mint condition. Okay, i got to follow him. So that I don't fail the quest because uh, I, I, uh, that time when we were in that vault and I didn't follow that kid <laughs> and his tour, I failed that mission. I actually failed that mission of a kid giving you a tour of the vault because I wasn't following close closely enough behind him oh, no, I can't look at that box I can't it'll fail me not twice something out there got him I don't there's something out there I I don't know what 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 is out there I can't see. You're in for it now. It's all this commotion. <laughs> oh, they keep throwing these firebombs. No. 
Nice. All right. Let's. See. What's. What do you need? What do you need to do, mate? I wouldn't mind going back and seeing what what he had, but oh, a basement key. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're going to the sandwich shop. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's have a look. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. I assume we're... It's going to be some sort of sad ending. Probably. Where is this? This looks familiar, but then again, the entire world looks so so similar. This is it. In this spot, two hundred years ago, one of Eddie's boys put a bullet in Jenny Lamb's thumb. Now Eddie's as dead as Jenny. If you're, if you're still interested in traveling together, I wouldn't blame you if you wanted some time on your own after all this. You still want to travel with me? Yeah, <laughs> I think I can suffer through it. Of course. Let's do it. Yeah, glad to hear it. Come on, let's get out of here. And hey, thanks. What? <laughs> That's the ending? That was terrible. <laughs> what? They just... They stand there yelling at each other for a bit. And then he kills him. And then that's it. I mean, really? Like, it seemed to have some promise, but... They just flopped it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, let's see what he had. Pop on the radio. Say the word if you wanted to take a look at that terminal. How did he Oh yeah, that's right. That these when you're a ghoul, you just live forever basically. Oh no. Now I'm gonna feel bad. It's me. Eddie. For Eddie. Oh no.
I mean, I suppose she didn't enter this bunker. Had a phone call, was gone. Hey, no worries, you do what you gotta do. How are you liking the game so far? Oh, uh, you know, it's it's not it's not particularly great. <laughs> it's not particularly great, but uh, you know, it's 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 fun. It has its it has its fun moments. Yeah. I don't know, there's something about, there's something about the, uh... uh it's just about everything, really. It just doesn't come together. It just doesn't come together, there's too much. There we go. I don't know. Finish this game so far, so if you ask me about the story, I wouldn't remember any of it. Yeah, I think I want to start trying to do the, uh do the story mode here see what it is about oh yeah that opened that oh my bad didn't grab you I, I don't I don't blame you I mean it's just it's just not engaging for some reason I don't know. It's a it's a weird uh, it's a weird game because it's all like a I mean a weird universe because you've got you have like all of this stuff you know you got this Pip Boy character and you got all this cartoony stuff and then you go to the this list and you're like oh look at those pictures and <laughs> like. It's sort of cartoony, but then when you actually get to the game, it seems very serious. I don't know. And you're collecting those comic books and stuff like that, and you look at the perk chart. Hmm. Oh yeah, I shouldn't go around this way. But anyway, that's... That's more about the, uh... I don't know, that's, that's on a really superficial level, I suppose, what I'm talking about. But as for the story, I don't know. We'll have a look. Because I wasn't doing the story, and now we're gonna... Now we're gonna go for the story. We're gonna see what comes next. Where does it take you? I don't know, I think one of the problems is that with with all of these uh, open world games is that you get sidetracked from the main story so easily. And it, it's partially because wow, oh what's here and what's there and all oh, the oh there's a quest here and there's a quest there. But I feel like in this game at least it's partially you get lost so easily because that story is just not that interesting. Like <laughs> Like, you don't really, you don't want to stay on the path, because you think, oh, maybe it's, maybe the grass is greener on the other side. But now, let's go back to the original grass and see what it's like. Have they been mowing the lawn there, or what have they been up to? And I don't know if, like, it's it's dumb to ask whether that that's intentional. Whether they make that main storyline, you know, not as good as it could be. Because you sort of assume that, well, people might not even care about it. Like, maybe a lot of people will never play through it, no matter what you do. 
So there's no real point in putting any effort into it. Well, not any effort, because that's that's unfair as well. Because I'm sure there are people who did put effort into it, but... The final product is... You don't know. Here's a... You know. But I don't know, I, I feel like, I, I wonder what would these games be like if it was just half? Did you ever play the other four? I played a uh, three. Um, and I really enjoyed it, so... I don't know, I think the story was more interesting. I don't know what the main storyline in that one was either. But some of the places, the characters, the towns were more... They, they, were, just, they were just more interesting, so... It was just more entertaining overall. Whereas this game just doesn't... I don't know. The story just isn't there. Like, you go to a place and... Is this a statue? <laughs> so many of these ghouls are just frozen. Yeah, three. Three was uh, was a fun one. I haven't played any of the others. Um, Lord knows New Vegas has been suggested to me a million billion times. Million billion times. Maybe more. Where are they going? Are they going the long way? What's this one? Is this a statue as well? I don't know, there are a couple of games that, uh, well, there's probably a lot of games that I wouldn't mind, uh, starting or continuing on stream. I just need to, I just need to do it. I just need to go for it. The atmosphere that I felt, the contrast of the happy vault boy and the grim reality of the world, like, Fallout has done a great job creating that kind of feel. Hmm. What just happened? Something exploded out there again. I feel I feel like three did it better, and I don't know why. I don't know why I would say I don't know why I say that, but but I suppose it's sort of that that might come down to like what's happening. Like, the, the, the characters and what they're saying, like, their experiences. And then there's something, there's something about the writing in this game. Nice. Like, I don't, how do you, what is this? Park, protect, trunk, control. How did they, why, why did they write this? What was the point? Protectron Zone Parade program runs during these hours, Saturday, Sunday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., Thursday, Friday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Specific instructions will be given for holidays or spe special events. The backup unit has been provided. It is stored in the maintenance cabin in case of any outages. Please contact Robco HQ for replacement parts or technical support. Like, what's that? What's, what's the point? How did they write that? Immersion. I don't know. She wouldn't know, would you? I don't know, maybe it is. Oh, there's another vault out here. But maybe it's also, uh, like, also with the music, because you've got this, uh, you know, old-timey music as well. You've got a whole bunch of hot tunes. Because I remember listening to the music in the first game a lot. 
And it's sort of... Uh, It was sort of part, it was part of the experience, really. To go back to what you were saying with the, like, you've got this romantic past and you've got Pip-Boy and you've got this humor and then you actually have the world and it's sort of, what's, what's the word? We need some of those, um, <laughs> we need some of those classic English major Vocabulary. Oh, I can't speak at all. I cannot speak at all today. That's really, that's a, that's a shame. We need those those buzzwords that you'd write in an English essay. Irony, contrast. Those are the ones. Those are the ones. Nah, it does, it's all good, it's all good. Those are the ones that I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, it's the contrast. What did I just pick up? I assume some sort of a million weight bone, something like that. <sighs> what? What was it? Was it a gun? Oh, oh no, what? 50% more limb damage. Maybe it was clothes. Mac 2 helmet. At zero. Weighs nothing. Silver shroud. Or maybe I could do silver shroud as well. So this stuff sort of weighs nothing. But I guess it adds up over time. This is, this sucks. This is terrible. Where's Nick? Why can't I just give him this pistol? That's, that's all I need to do. If I give him that pistol, I'm out of here. Oh, he can't carry anymore. He's already carrying way too much. Here. Oh, he can carry three. Excellent. That's just fine. Yeah, what I was going to say, um, I don't know how, how do they write a game? Like, like I assume there's a head writer. There's got to be somebody who's right at the top. And then there's probably a whole bunch of uh, other people who are doing different sorts of writing. Like, I imagine that the person who's, do who's writing the main storyline or the quest storylines, or maybe there's a whole bunch of different people. Maybe it's a... Who knows? I haven't seen the credits. I never even pay attention. Like, I always let the credits run all the way through. Because sometimes, you know, there's a post credit scene, and... I mean, they don't... I think there were some games where if you skipped the credits, you had skipped that scene. Maybe that's maybe there was never a game like that. I'm not sure, but you know, out of respect to the people who made the game, oh, you know, I'll let the I'll let let the credits play. I won't watch them, but I'll let them play out. Um. So I've never paid attention to how many riders there are. But I assume there's, I assume there's a lot of people. <laughs> Marvel movies, exactly. It's pretty funny watching, uh, watching movies from, like, the 90s and the 80s and before, and you, you wait, you're like, is there gonna be something here? <laughs> I 
And that's the best thing. In those movies, they're always so reasonable. Like, well, not reasonably. I mean, what's... Okay, you can't say reasonable. Just because the modern-day credits are long. They're long because they have a lot of people. <laughs> it's not... It's... It's not because they're being unreasonable. Although that would be funny. If you actually watch the credits these days and they're long... Um... For no real reason, they're long just because they can. That that was the thing that hap that changed. <laughs> but I mean, especially now, if there's a credit scene, they they pace. You you can notice that some some movies have credits of this speed, some movies have credits of that speed. They choose the pace. So the amount of time that you have to wait for that credit scene to appear is determined. It's not by chance, but I don't think they're really actively trying to waste your time. Especially because those Marvel movies are always like two hours plus, so... Yeah. Wow, you can just open the, the elevator? <sighs> hey, we've come a long way! <laughs> Look! Look at all this! Take a moment to reflect, it's just two minutes. Of just silence. But with the text, reflect on this technical achievement. Wow. And then you've got your post credit scene. Part 1. I don't think you can shoot these. Oh, you can. Oh, nice. Yeah, everybody's asleep. Oh, man. Nice. Wonder if there's somebody out there who watches Marvel movies just for the, uh... <laughs> just for the credit scenes. I gotta see him, dude. <sighs> I buy a ticket and I just, I just appear right at the end, you know? I gotta see it. I need to know what happens in the next one. They never really add up. I don't really know. It's like it's like I'm missing something, but ah, uh, lame. So this is this vault is just uh just one of those boring ones. It's just a nothing area. Oh, that sucks. Oh, so, stop it! Oh, I hate this thing so much. Oh my god. Uh, it grabbed me and then it started doing its laser beam eye move. Oh, where did it save last? Oh, come on. No people that would never miss the answer and even if they're late for work, far out. Because when you, when you think about uh, like concerts where people will leave at the encore just so that just so that they can get to the car and leave in time. And usually the usually bands will make the set list have the one of their best songs <laughs> right on the other end there. Oh far out. The saving is so inconsistent. Oh no, but yeah, I guess it treat. I guess it treats uh, that elevator. It's not a door, so it doesn't do an auto save. I guess, it, I guess it is consistent. Um, <sighs> All right, let's sprint it good. <gasps> What kind of build? Uh, I mean, I'm playing on very easy, so... It sort of doesn't really matter. But it's, uh... Rifles. Rifle damage is just maxed out. All my rifles do double damage, and then I have that blood splatter thing, which does more damage, and... Basically, 
Whatever, whatever lets me kill my enemies the fastest is... That's the way that I want. That's my build. I want, I want the game to be quick. In general, like, I, I'm pretty frustrated when, uh, when, when you have to die in a game and you have to do stuff again. Like, I don't like that. But I also don't want to, uh, sit here constantly saving either. Um... Which is partially the game's fault, because it, it does do saves sometimes. It's definitely, it's more an action game, like... Well, I mean, this game, I don't think you could say this game succeeds as a role-playing game, so... <laughs> if you play it as an action game, well... I think it's, uh, it's, you know, that might be the way that it was intended. It may, in fact, be... I must be... I think I'm right. Oh, shit. Okay. Usually the stealth sniper type, so that's kind of boring. Hmm. I mean, it depends on the game. There, there's some games where... Well, you know, it's game, difficulty, all sorts of things. Where that's more favorable than just running in and running in and gunning in. Alright. Let's save. Maybe I should just do quick saves. So that I don't make all these. Uh... Cause I was tricked. I thought this elevator would save, but it's not. But yeah, I think it really comes down to like, if you're playing on a, on a real difficulty... <laughs> then that really... Really changes everything, because all of a sudden... Then, w the way you put your points in, it actually matters, and... If you're playing stealth, and you're putting your points into stealth... Then... It all... It all adds up. So, but here, like if I was playing stealth here, I don't know. I mean, maybe it would actually be very quick. Maybe. But it depends on the area, like I suppose. I'm not sure. Did you play the, did you play this as a, as, as a stealth approach? Because, oh jeez, that laser beam head. Wow, I might consider changing the, the side on this to something a little closer. Because I like the damage. Basically one shots. <laughs> that, was a, that was like the boss. That was the big buzz. It just blew his head off. That was great. What a bozo. Master. Pretty much just one shot at things with R. Oh, fair enough. That's right, because you get that sneak damage. That's right. Oops! Nick, come back! <laughs> uh. I don't know, I've played... Uh, in a way, that's the default... play style of something like Far Cry. Where you... You get to the place where the enemies are, you scope it out, you see, oh, where are the enemies? Use your silenced sniper rifle to kill, you know, the ones who are on the top of the roof, and this one, that one, and... You sort of, you're sort of forced to, because if you run in, you're just gonna get blown up. Um, so I have played, I have played like that in other games, but... 
here. I don't know. I don't think it really. I. It doesn't really matter. Because the the fights aren't. It's very. Un, I don't know. It's very unusual. Like it's it's not a it's not a shooter. You can tell that the game is not a shooter. Oh, man. <laughs> like it's so. Like compared to what. I don't know, like, Borderlands. Like, you, when you play Borderlands, the rooms are much more... You go through the door, and then there's a room, and then the enemies are just standing there, and you, you shoot those ones, and you go to the next room, and you shoot those ones. Like, it's more, like, the way that it's set out in some places is just like, oh, that's that's a classic shooter. You go down the corridor, you... I suppose this is sort of like that as well. I guess this vault actually is like that. Because you enter, and then there's a whole room of enemies. Actually, yeah, I guess. I think it's, but it sort of goes into these corridors, and the corridors get a bit... Oh, I mean, those classic shooters are like that. They're all... Doot, 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 doot. <sighs> classic Valentine running into those explosions. More open world shooter with more action, yeah. More corridors and segments. It's it's got it's got everything. It has it all. I suppose it's not really all that different to. Uh... Yeah, it's. You know, I it's it is it is more than just a yeah. It's it's more than just a little different. It's it's quite different to uh, to other shooters. Yeah. It's 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 got some similarities, but then it's got some differences. It's just like everything, I suppose. There are similarities and there are differences. <laughs> but because it's such a big game, um, it has to have some variety. So, so there's another one of those big thought segments where it's like, oh yeah, let's get into the nitty gritty of it, and then the conclusion is just. <laughs> This is just... Ah! Today marks the fifth calendar year since the resident of Vault 95 and I have moved into Vault. This will be my first entry. However, deal with the symptoms of withdrawal. And open the stash of addictive substances that has lay hidden for the last five years. Isolation seems to have proved helpful when addictive stimuli are absent. Now to see what such stimuli to the Due to the social order we have created over the previous years. Sure, all residents do not stray from the Vault Tech Rehabilitation Program. It is paramount that it is strictly followed for our research objectives. Backstory and identity should already be committed to memory. Overseer elect. Stash of chems. I don't know what's what's the point of this. Is this supposed to be like our, like well, <laughs> like like our discussion just then? It's it seems really deep. Whoa, they make them all feel really, you know, they they rehabilitate them, they get rid of their addictions, and then boom, they bring back the drugs into the system, and then we see what happens. <laughs> it's, it's big thoughts. At least my, at least my contribution to the, to the, to the discussion is sometimes like that. It's like, what? Damn. That's God. deep. I and mean, you try to figure out how deep is it, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's not that deep. Sometimes it's too deep. Like yesterday. Yesterday I uh I said some things and <sighs> the words that's so depressing appeared into the chat. I I made a difference. <laughs> I made a difference yesterday. I did. Laser rifle. Change somebody's life. Oh, I keep missing these guys. Perfect. I always miss them. 
Because I don't pay attention to them. I don't, I don't really pay... Awesome! Collect 10! Oh, good gamer score. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. This game was so worth playing just because I got that 10 gamer score. Look, I take back everything I've ever said that was that was negative about this game. It is gamer score, and I got that gamer score. That's it. Sense of accomplishment get. Bonus points. It's a great game. What can I say? Other games? Not so good. PC games in particular? PlayStation games? Where's the gamer score? How do I know? If the game is good or not. I... Whew, I don't think so. <laughs> How do I know if I've done something good in one of those games? If I don't get gamer score. Nah, but seriously, I like gamer score. I like that. I like gamer score. I like uh, the... Tro I think gamer score is better than trophies. To be real... It's really important to topic for me. Um, and I've spent a bit of time thinking about it. And I simply concluded that gamer score is better than trophies. Only because uh, when you have trophies, there's that plat there's the platinum. And the thing is. Sometimes there's an achievement, uh, the, like there's a trophy, which is just impossible to get. And you get almost all of... The, you can't get the Platinum because there's one which is just so impossible to get. And so, it'll always be like that. You always see that. You're like, well, that's, 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 a, that's a shame, you know. Whereas here, it's just up to a thousand. I guess, but the weakness to a thousand, I suppose, is that... Mother trucker, dude! You're sort of limited. Like, if the game is really, really, really big, then you have to give only 10. You have to give 5. You have to give 5s and 10s, and those sort of feel... They probably feel worse than a bronze trophy. I don't know. Hey, Ultra, how you doing, mate? Back to helping settlements. No. I decided to go to the main quest, but then I found the vault, and, uh... <laughs> yeah. D didn't last... Didn't last long. I said, that's it. I'm doing the main quest. And now I'm not. Get where you can't... Yeah, it's, there, there's something there. It sort of just feels... I think like getting 990 in a game feels slightly better than getting a 97%. And the ones that you're missing is this one impossible one and the platinum. Like it just, it just feels a little worse. I think it might feel better if you get the Platinum, because all of us, wow, the Platinum is, looks, it looks cool, and it means I got all of them, like, check it out. Because there's no achievement in, in with Gamer Score system, there's no achievement, unless there's a game, I, I don't know, I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen a game where it's like, get all the other achievements. But even then, that wouldn't really be, it wouldn't be as exciting, because it'd still be factored in, I suppose. It'd be like 990 and then one that's 10 or something like that. Get all of them or I don't know. But yeah, I, I've spent a bit of time thinking about uh, the the achievement lists and stuff like that um, as well. And I think that's actually really interesting to, to compare two games within the same series and to compare the uh, the lists and uh, how things are balanced like i don't know who's in charge of that but i i remember in far cry 4 there was one everything that was in actually it wasn't just one but there were many 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 in the game where it was sort of like do a quarter of all the missions of one sort, do half of all the missions, and then there was no do all the missions. And then maybe in the previous games there would have been there would have been a trophy and achievement which was like do all the missions. 
And so like across the across the series it's sort of like, well what's what's changing here? I, I don't get it. Like Did they is there some sort of focus group testing? Like if the achievement is more reasonable, people might be more inclined to get it or something. Because when you look at the percentages, the like that one I just got there, ten bobbleheads, eight point six two percent. Ten bobbleheads. I don't know how many there are in the game. There's probably like fifty of them or something. I don't know. Maybe there aren't that many. If there's twenty, twenty-five, I don't know. But ten and only eight point six two percent of players got that. Like ten doesn't seem too high, but <laughs> like that just. That sort of tells you how people are playing the game. Because to find the bubble heads, you need to explore areas that aren't necessarily linked to quests. And then you need to pay attention to where they are. Because I know there's one area that I went through and I cleared it, but I didn't get the bubble head because I didn't notice where it was. <laughs> it was only afterwards when I was uh, like typing in just this one area's name to just see what it was about. Um, for a title... For a stream title. Um, then I noticed, oh, there was a bobblehead there. Huh. So, you know. It sort of, t it sort of speaks volumes about how people play these games. My, my favorites are honestly when, when there's an achievement for finish the first level. And it is not 100%. That is, that actually, that to me is just really, that's fascinating. It really, really is fascinating to me. Like, okay, so there are some people, sure, they're going to, they buy the game, the, the disc broke. They couldn't play it. Okay, so they, they never finished the first level. But there are people who start the game and they probably would have played it through. But they just didn't. For whatever reason. They started it up and then they never played it again. They never finished the first level. And that percentage, finish the first level achievement, is not 100%. Like, that's... <laughs> that's really something. It's probably how I play. Just focus on story and finish it. I don't know why, but I just wanted to get this game over and done with. Yeah. You might ask them why I even play this game. And honestly, I don't know. I just feel like finish it after I'm happy with my build. Hmm. Yeah, like I sort of, I sort of feel like maybe, maybe it's time that I probably tried to, you know, I, I said it, I was going to do the main quest, and now I'm going to spend the probably the entire stream not doing the quest, like a, <laughs> like I always do, um, because I probably stopped playing the main quest 50 hours ago, so, but. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Sometimes it's just like, oh, it's a, it's a big game, you want to play through it, but you get a taste of it, and it's sort of... You you way up. Like you, I've noticed when you have games, a lot of games, because as you normally do, your Steam library's a billion games, you've got your games with gold, you get your PlayStation Plus games, or have six more games, six here, five, you know. You have a billion trillion games to play, and you're weighing up, what do you want to play? Do you want to play this? Do you want to play that? You, you sort of end up with, okay, this game is okay, I think I might finish it, but I'm not going to do everything, because I would rather play the next thing, or at least that's how, that's, a, that's how I go. Although I do like getting achievements and stuff like that, so I'll play um, through normally, and in general I sort of try to go here and go there because I mean I start I, when I was younger I played Nintendo games in Nintendo games they were there was a definite way to 100% them there was only like in a Zelda there are only so many things to collect you can 100% that game in those Mario games we had like three bonus coins in every level you could 100% that game like and so that was the problem was that I was playing those Nintendo games where you could definitely collect everything and then I played Oblivion, and I was completely overwhelmed. I played it for about 10 hours, and I never came back to it. It was just too damn much. 
It was too much. How many achievements have you got so far? Let's have a peek. 34 of 84, 635 out of 1,600. So there are some sort of like quests ones. There's, like, there's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch. So we'll... I, I assume that we... Okay, let's... Wait, let's go back one more time. Let's write that down. <laughs> let's write that down. 635. Um, just... Let's write it down. We're going to start doing the main quest line. And we're going to see how many gamer scores I get. How many gamer scores do I get? I don't know. I assume there's probably going to be like 10, 20 for the story missions. Maybe every two or three. See how we go. We're going to see. We we'll want to find this guy, this Virgil guy. Your pip boy doesn't sound pleased. Let's say we get out of here. But the other thing is that there are the achievement ones. Uh, not the, sorry, the achievement ones. The uh, DLC ones. And that sort of... Uh, that sort of changes things a little bit. Because... You remember what... Oh, maybe... You probably remember. There was a long time ago... Probably five months ago. I was doing uh, that vault. But it was a settlement vault. And I got like all the achievements there. And that's why my number is much higher than it probably would be. Otherwise... Each faction has a couple of the main stories, probably around 20 upgrades, etc. 515. I mm. will right, we'll see. I don't. I haven't really done. I don't think I finished the factions, did I? I don't even. I don't think I've even talked to half the factions. <laughs> right. I mean, I talked to that paladin dance, but outside of that, yikes. Wow, this area is really cool. Wait, there are places out here? No, no, I have to go and do the main... Oh, but look, there are places. <laughs> There's a plane icon. Oh, okay, hold on. I want to... I want to go out here. See what's going on. This place is pretty cool. What's this mountain? Oh, I just want to go to this mountain one. See what it is. What is this? What? Cave? Oh my god. I didn't know cave was in this game. Ho 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 ho. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> God damn cave. <laughs> Just cave. Oh, man. Can you get them all in one place? I'm sure if you side with a couple of them, the others are going to get mad at you. Mm, I'm not sure. Because in those, like, in Oblivion, you could do all the, all the guilds, couldn't you? So... That's a good question. Because I feel like, a, like, at least in Oblivion, you get that sense... They made a game, and they wanted the player to be able to do everything. Like, almost everything on one character. At least, oh, I mean, I was playing on zero difficulty, so maybe that... Maybe that changed things a little. Maybe that was the only reason why I could do it all. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a good... Yeah, yeah, disregard me. Skyrim, you could... Oh, so you could... Okay, fair enough. You could do that, too. That's sort of... That's the thing, because... I think there was some percentage of, like... Of like how many games people actually finish and how far they even get. Like there's a whole bunch of freaky uh, statistics that people basically don't play anything. Um. What? Was that cave? That wasn't cave, that was tunnel. What's, what's the point of this place? Did you get stuck? What happened, brother? But yeah, um, so I assume that they sort of try to allow uh, the player to achieve everything on one character. Whatever they, wherever they go, that they can do that. Um, because if there's a good chance that they'll never finish the game anyway, 
make sure that I mean that's the thing make sure that their experience playing the game is good enough so that when they the next one comes out they go Fallout Fallout 76 oh yeah I love Fallout 4 oh it's such a great game and they go out and buy it even though they never even finished the original well not the original but uh, the previous one Oh, Fallout 4? I loved it. I love 3. I'll play 4. I never finished it, but I might as well play it, you know? I mean, that's the thing that freaks me out about people having Assassin's Creed tattoos. I'm like, okay, the series is kind of fun, but... Wh what? <laughs> like... What what level of commitment? Maybe it's just me, because I don't know what level of commitment it would require for me to like be yeah, I'd get a tattoo of that game series. But did you finish those games? Why why'd you get that? It goes for really any series. Unless it's like your favorite series and like, oh yeah, that's great. Start another Witcher 2 playthrough, gonna get those last achievements. Go for it, mate. I approve. Big thumbs up from me. Big old thumbs up, you know. I like those achievements, mate. Go get them. Thumbs up from me. But yeah, I really wonder. I really wonder, like, what... What level do people? On what, on what level do people appreciate these these triple A's? I I don't know. You like if you said, "Oh, I love Fallout 4." What does that mean? What does that tell me about you? <laughs> and like, I don't want it to be just this game, but any game in general. Although uh, you get bonus, I, I think you sort of get bonus points if the game is something more artsy fartsy, because then that might actually tell me something about you. If you go around and you tell me, oh, I love The Witness, I'll be like, oh, you're, you're, you're like an intellectual, you know, you've got, you've got good taste. But if you say, I don't know, 43 or 52, damn. What do you like about it, you know? Um, I love it. <laughs> Whoa! Jeez, these, look at this new enemy type. They're, they're ghouls, but they're sort of uh, thin. They're <laughs> sort of thinner than the other ghouls. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. But really, it actually goes, uh, it, it goes for, for anything. Like if you, if you say that you love something, you know, as a game series or a game or, or a movie or anything, I want to know why. Why do you feel that way? Have you actually thought about that or are you just saying that? Because it's like if somebody says, oh, I love the Marvel movies. Well, tell me, what, what do you exactly love about them? What is this? That's not Nick Valentine. That's the putrid glowing one. But look, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a bit of a, you know, I'm a bit of an intellectual, you know, so... Uh, you know, I did my uh, English degree, so, oh, yeah. I know, I know all about it. <laughs> you can't, you know... You just can't. I would love to finish uh, Fallout 4 100 but after playing New Vegas and waiting so long for Fallout 4, it was a huge letdown my book. I just did the main quest and was done. Mm. Well, I mean, you you sort of get to, uh, vi uh, what's the word? Is it vicarious? You can live it through me, you know? And the thing is that I think with some other games, like maybe with, uh, with like Dark Souls, Maybe that would have been, uh, oh yeah, that's, oh, this looks like a pretty good game. Yeah, I wouldn't mind playing this. Um, <laughs> but with this, especially with the stuff that I talk about, like, I feel like, 
I don't feel like you would you'd watch it. You'd be like, okay, uh, I don't. I think I'm gonna pass on this game. Yeah, playing it to be on the main quest. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Um, I might read the the wiki if I want to know more about this game. Uh, you can play it, you know, but uh, you know, it's not. Mm. Nah, I'll have to pass on that one, mate. I don't think I. I don't think I'd give this game a uh, a glowing review. I don't know. I think I think if I gave it a if I gave it a some points, I think I'd give it a six. Because the thing is, at the end of the day, like there is there is a lot to like. Superficially, there is a lot to like. But then when you dig into it, it doesn't hold. It doesn't hold. Which is notable because I would have given Oblivion a seven. But that's but I like this I like the, the characters that you talk to and I like the um I like some of the stories, you know. But I dock three points because the game's too big. I dock those points. You don't... The only person who wastes my time is me. <laughs> Make your game reasonably sized, alright? Only I may waste my time. You don't waste my time, alright? That's the rules. You dock three points. This game, smaller. It's smaller than Oblivion. But, not the same. Should play Oblivion someday. I mean... You can just zip through it, honestly. If you don't get if you don't get bogged down by the caves and uh, the ruins and the oblivion gates, if you if you allow yourself, like, unless you enjoy that, I'm not judging anybody who likes that stuff. Because there are some items and there's a little bit of excitement involved. If that's what you like, I mean, go for it. But to me, it's just. Oh my goodness. My goodness, it's just drudgery. But it's it's such a shame because with Oblivion I really got the I got the feeling like where are the where and one more quests. You know, I I I actually enjoy these quests. Can I have some more? But that's the thing, like like, I really like Borderlands. It's a dumb, it's a dumb, fun game. It's funny, you know? The story, you follow along, it's like, well, I don't really, like, this, the ending is always like, oh, this ending sucks. <laughs> but the journey is usually quite good. Oh, I'm spitting on my TV. Um, well, not a TV, but a screen. <laughs> but, you know, every area is sort of like, it, it has what it has. Every area's got its enemies... It's got its boxes, it's got a secret here, a secret there, and then you finish the area, next area, done. And like, every area exists for a reason. And that's the same thing, like, I didn't play Dark Souls for the longest time, and then I realized what Dark Souls, the way that it was designed, I was like, you're joking. Every area, it, has, it's, it looks like this, the, the secret is here, the secret is there, you finish the area, and I think it's probably just because of uh, this whole Nintendo thing. Because when you think about it, there's not that much different between, uh, like, a Zelda game and Dark Souls in terms of, oh, there's this area, it's called this, there are secrets here, 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 you'll find those out, maybe you have to come back later with a new item, maybe you need a new technique, uh, and I like that, I don't know, I just, I just really like that kind of stuff. I don't know, it's, it's not even... I'm not a what is it completionist. I don't I don't need to be a hundred. I don't need a hundred. I don't need to hundred percent a game, but I don't know. I just get the feeling that uh, if the area is a certain way for a certain reason, I appreciate that. You get the sense that somebody put effort into it, like, put their heart and soul 
it couldn't be any other way. It, this is the way. The area, there's, there's only so many areas and every area is specifically the way that it should be. Sometimes it cooks you, like the, uh, the oft-quoted water temple in Ocarina of Time, you know? But, I don't know, I, I'd never, I, I didn't hate that. It was a bit of a mind-bender, but, you know, I didn't hate it. It was different. Crater of Atom. <laughs> These characters have something to say to me. Hey. Hey. We are all Adam's children. May the glow of Adam guide your path. So I guess this is another area where nobody has anything to say to you. Unfortunately. Who are you? Do you have something to say to me? The world will be shown Adam's glory. Hey. Hey. None will escape the great divide. Oh my goodness. So if I stole this stuff, huh? This new age will be divided into sects. Oh, hello. Let's do this. I thought they were gonna kill me. <laughs> I didn't realize that they were. Whoa, it went invisible. Oh, this is great. This is like those uh, YouTube videos where they have. Who would win? Will the, uh, the children of Adam or one rad scorpion find out? 10 million views. Ooh, this is a good. Ooh, this is a good video. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so close. Oh. It's almost going to it's it's almost going to attack it. No, it didn't get out even once. It got stuck the whole time. Ah. Oh. <laughs> clickbait. Classic clickbait. Idolizes you. Can we talk hey, about that? What's the plan? Hey, Valentine. You know, I've been thinking about how things went down. He idolizes me. I never properly thanked you for that. I'm glad I could help. Oh, that's right. I'm wearing my spacesuit like so I don't die. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last proof outside of some long lost institute archive i was ever just a mechanical copy of some cop from a bygone era i ain't sure how to feel don't you see nick you're finally free there is no other nick anymore just you yeah, i wish it was that easy but it's not because i was nick valentine i had his memories his fears all that poor bastard's hopes I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. And I hope with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could, I could finally be free. But being out here with you, what a... What I finally realized after all this time was that taking down Winter, it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice, about doing what's right. And that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours and ours alone. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick, not the Institute, but mine, then I can be more happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. You don't have to, Nick. We're friends. This is what friends do. <laughs> you can't stop being noble now, can you? Well, come on then. You're not helping anyone standing around here. 
Having reached the highest level of affinity with Nick, you have gained the close to metal perk. The stream's overall sound is a bit lower than usual. Yeah, it's because of the, uh, the audio within the game is so low uh, when it comes to the talking. And then you like the shooting is much much louder. It's it's sort of a it's a disaster to um, to mix it all honestly. Like I think the the microphone is probably good, but when you actually hear the sound of the game, it's uh, it's generally not not high enough. And then you I, I need to, I'll just go back and I'll go into the menu for the sound. Um, but anyway, it's close to metal, close to metal. It's pretty cool, whatever that is. Let's have a peek. Oh, 20 gamer score! Ah, maximum relationship. All right, he's out. He's done. He's finished. So voice up. Um, oh, well, max voice. <laughs> Best game ever. I thought the 10 gamer score, that was it. Then there was 20 more gamer score. For what? Walking, like, from one side of a crater to the other? 20 gamers score for that? You're joking. That's so good. That's so good. <sighs> uh, I think... Wait, what? Where do I see this perk? How do I... What, what is that? Oh, here we go. Perks. Close to metal. Thanks to your relationship with Nick Valentine, you get one extra guess and 50% faster terminal cooldown when hacking. What? Wow. One extra guess. Alright, maybe I should get another one of the uh, assistants. Hey, I'm all ears. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Oh wait, is he Got it. is he gone? Is he walking away? Like or what? Oh no, he's Hey, you have something you need? Uh No, we'll just okay, we'll just do this area with Valentine and then we'll we'll find a different companion afterwards and we'll see if we can max that one out too. B Cause now we're here. Now we're doing the, this quest, you know. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Have you seen him? Yes, I know of him. What do you want with him? <laughs> I give up with this game. I'm done. I'm done. Nah. Nah. Listen. Listen. These uh. Well, I'll give it a second chance, but if if this script doesn't get better, <laughs> I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. <sighs> it was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater. Living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. A cave, you say? Hmm. Not, not cave. Not the cave. But it, is it a different cave or is it the cave? No, it seems like this is a different cave. It's not the same cave. Oh, the plot thickens. How do I get there? I guess I gotta go up here. How far does this go? Where am I on this map, anyway? What the Shrek? I'm not even on the map anymore. <laughs> Why 
What? What's this? How did I miss this place? Look, I know I'm I'm a terrible I'm a terrible gamer. Maybe I'm an excellent gamer because I uh I keep getting sidetracked. Oh. What is this? It's decrepit factory. You have to You have to really you got to sell that reaction. It's got to be it's got to be a degree of uh forced positivity like everything that everything that you experience is the best thing ever <laughs> it's a crap factory high five dude Yeah, one of my favorite things uh, is when you learn the rules of uh, of a certain form. So, for example, the uh, the clickbait video. There's but like if you've seen the ones for GTA, and I'm sure they exist for uh, Fallout and for Elder Scrolls. It would be this: finding out the secret of the skeleton at the decrepit factory, and it's a 19-minute video. In which you learn absolutely nothing about the skeleton at the Decrepa factory. But it's 19 minutes long. For some reason. And you really want to know. What is the secret behind this skeleton? If you look up. <laughs> this, is, this is what they would do. If you look up and see what he's trying to grab. You notice that he's pointing to the sky. Now, where have you seen such a such an image before? Where? Where have you seen this image before? Oh no, this this has got winkuses in it, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, we'll take <laughs> this, this big just right, how do I save this to the desktop? Save it to the desktop, thank you. Okay, close it all. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is this is gonna blow your mind. When you realize that this is the secret. This is the secret. How do I add the source? Oh, here we go. You see, this is very familiar. Very, very familiar. Uh, add a new source. Browse. Desktop. Here it is. Here it is. This is what the skeleton at the Decrepa factory is grasping for. It's grasping for God! Can you believe it? Can you... You see? It's identical. It's, it's the same. It's the same. Alright, well... Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube videos. We uh, discover more secrets within the Fallout 4 universe. Um, tune in next week when we find out uh, what happened to Nick Valentine's hand. How did he lose it? You like? Oh, we, look, Nick is great, and. Uh, Nick loves me, so we're in a bit of a uh, a love triangle here, Lucas. You see, you love Nick, and Nick loves me. But do I love you? I don't know. Do I love Nick? I don't know. Maybe I love Nick. What would you do? What would you do about that? Would you fight for that love? It's hard to say. I don't know.
Let me get this image off. Let me get... Oh no, what did I remove? I don't think I removed anything. You could, I have very beautiful hair. I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, it's as they say, if you really love uh, someone, you gotta let them go. So maybe, maybe I need to, maybe I need to step aside. I hope you, I hope you have a, a wonderful life with Nick Valentine. No, don't cry, you won. Don't cry. You <laughs> won Nick Valentine's hand in marriage. We need a we need a very wise and impartial judge to say split the Nick Valentine in half. Uh oh. That would be a that'd be a solution. We could each have. Oh, cool! Look at this stealth approach. Rocky cave. Also known as Virgil's Laboratory. I'm not sure if it was supposed to tell me that. Hey, Giuseppe, how you doing, my dude? Top of the morning. Is Andre you could love me at night and you during the day? Fair enough. That does sound... That does sound very reasonable. <laughs> oh! Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. Where's Kel? Me. It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Take it easy. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead. Those are some good glasses. Dead. Don't you lie to me. Oh, I'm not wearing my nice threads, unfortunately. I'm. I've got to. Oh no, I. I sort of can't because I would probably die of radiation in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> I need to be a spaceman. You believe me or not? There's no question it's difficult to believe. Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare that for voice doesn't fit for some reason. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you you killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? Mm. No. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not going back. I can't go back. But how? No, no it doesn't matter. Why are you even here? What do you want? <laughs> Relax. I need whatever information you can. Lensless glasses. To help me get into the institute. I'm sorry. Pretty hip. You want to get into the institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? What is this outfit? It, it doesn't matter. Fine. You know what? I don't even want to know. You want to get yourself killed, that's your problem. But I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. I can help you get in there, but I want something in Oh. Time. What do you want? What do you want from me? Before I <laughs> what do you want from escape, me? I was working on a serum that would serve oh, as a cure goodness. for my condition. I wasn't able to bring it with me. It's still This whole outfit happen. is just fascinating. I don't understand don't what's going me. on. I need it. I need you to find it for me if you manage to get inside the institute. What do you say? <sighs> Fine. You help me and I'll help you. All right. All right. <coughs> about details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the institute? It's the time. Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Well, I'm not many. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as 
the molecular relay. What are these pants? Where does the shirt start and the pants end? It, it must be it like works. Dematerializes you <laughs> overalls or something. Rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay Why is that crazy in this universe? In and out of the institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an institute courser? Uh, I don't know. What's a co what? A courser? What's, What's that? that? For another institute secret. Coursers Must be a onesie, is it? Mm, I'm not sure if it is. They're hunters. Operation. I'm not sure. It's like it stops there. And a courser is dispatched. Unless that's all one piece. They're very good at what they do. Huh. Let's go. Just <laughs> Let's go. I, I need to check you out. I need this conversation to end so we can figure out what this outfit is. <laughs> we need to know. Get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? Will you get to the ruins? Tune His mouth is out of sync with the uh, and voiceover. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. Mm. Lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> it is. It is a onesie. What the hell aroma is that? It's a wasteland onesie, except it's sort of. Good luck finding. But you can tell this is one part here, because I want to cosplay as Virgil. You see, that's why we're <laughs> that's why we're looking at this. Um. 500 subs, and I'll cosplay as Virgil, LOL, XD. Good luck finding the course of chip. Ah, the spoon. Very important. Very important part. Can I get a better look? Can I jump onto this chair, please? Oh. What is this? This is some sort of scarf, but it looks like a garbage bag. You find a course Interesting. Chip. What are you cooking up? The chip's no good. What the hell? Protect and serve. What the Shrek? What is this? Super Mutant Aviator Cap. Why am I allowed to steal this? Oh, I... I can open the lunchbox, but I can't take what's inside? <laughs> You're alright. Fine. Fine, be that way. <laughs> wow. I just, I can't believe it. Get out of here. Oh yeah, that dinosaur is over there. This is so weird. I can't believe that you can actually get outside the map here. Like, this looks like it could be something as well. You got super fast loads. Oh, this is on the uh, this is on the Xbox One, so it doesn't look great. <laughs> it doesn't look as good as it could be, but some things work quite well. Some things work quite well. 
Sometimes it loads quickly, sometimes it crashes. You never know what you're gonna get. I don't want to fight that. That's nuclear. Okay. I actually now that I, I now that you say it, I remember there being a. Uh, I have a quest for that, and I, I think yeah, that that's where it was sort of heading out that direction, because I got one, uh, which was, up here. This was for Far Harbor or something like that. There was another one which was above the top end of the map here too. So, yeah, you're right. But I didn't do them because I I was like, oh yeah, I'll do the normal game first, and then of course, what did I not do? <laughs> what did I not do over three days worth of game time? Yep, the main storyline. Nuka World is boring. Oh look, I'll check it out anyway because I might as well. Um, because when I bought this uh, when I bought this console, there were a couple of season passes that were already on on here and one of them was the fallout one so you know free dlc is not too bad not too bad in my books not too, well i mean i did pay for the console but you know you know when you when you actually buy the console you don't get the, you don't get bonus dlc on it so hey god's okay done what is this opening what is this what have you done Last time you requested that scary meme video and it it hurt my ears. Luckily that one's not going to play. Luckily. I don't want to be too mean, but... <laughs> Send this to your... Oh, alright, I guess. Alright. All right. Maybe I didn't consider that, and you sent it to me. You sent it to me directly, so hmm. Maybe I should have been more. Maybe I should have been flattered. It was a romantic horror, the best genre. Romantic horror, science fiction, drama. What is this? Is another green dinosaur? I'm gonna just one shot it till it. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> I love this game, man. This game's the best. I love how quickly you can kill the dinosaurs. It's great. I highly recommend. If you haven't uh, played this game on very easy, you haven't played this game at all. It's just. It really it reaches that next level. Everyone get those meme song requests in, so next stream can be, oh, it's, it'll be dank without them. I swear, guys, it'll be so dank without those horrible requests. I swear. I'm cool, right, guys? I was, uh, I was waiting for verbal confirmation. I was waiting for it, but I suppose it's just, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. Oh wait, where am I going? Oh, damn, that's really far away. <sighs> County Crossing. Wow, that sounds so good. So why why is there a town of radiation people, and then there's nothing to do there? <laughs> it's just not right. That's not right at all. I really liked uh, how in Oblivion, the quests were all sort of linked to the town, or well, the towns. You know, every single one had a you know a couple of them, and you would. And when you figured that out, you'd be like, oh, okay, so now I'll explore every town to the maximum, like, to the max. Because I know that 
I'm gonna be rewarded with some cool storyline or some loot or whatever. That was really cool. But here, when you, you talk to these radiation people, they don't even care. They've got nothing to say to you. Two songs per... Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. So, it's only two danks per, per user. Two danks. Thanks. <sighs> bikini bottom. This is bikini bottom. What is this place? Atlantic offices. Wow. This place is crazy. What happened? Who mutated? Who mutant? What's out there? How do you open this door? What? Hurry ya. <laughs> What's going on? Is Nick Valentine fighting with the blade again? Where is he? Oh no, there's another one of those dinosaurs out there. Got some bad shit, but the combat got so good. Yeah, I mean, it. that is exactly what I've been saying. <laughs> That's exactly what I've been saying. I think the gunplay is just really good. It's very, it's very weighty. I, I think it, I think it really peaks with, uh, on the, on the very easy difficulty. Because this game feels exactly like... Like a Far Cry or something. Where you go in and you... And you just flex on your opponents. 360! No scope! Boom. You just flex on your opponents. I think we'll go down this hatch. Oh. And I'm stuck. Oh. I've never been on this floor before. What? Oh, damn, I actually haven't. Oh my god. Kill him, kill him. Um. Save your ears. Oh my god. Yo, you're turned off. Why are you still rumbling? <laughs> no, it's not actually. It's not Xbox. It's Fallout 4. It's Fallout 4. Uh. It's... Fallout 4. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on, I probably should, uh, I should... I should cl I, I don't. I don't want you to see my desktop on my, on my Xbox. I don't want you to see the desktop because you'll be like, Oh, why don't you play that game? That game looks so much better than this game. But like, I have no reasons. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't tell you why. I can't tell you why. Why I'm not playing that instead of this. I can't tell you. You'll see my desktop, people are like, that game is so good. <laughs> what game is it anyway? Uh, it's probably just Forza Horizon. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all it is. But, I've already, fi I already beat it. <laughs> 
I already beat the game, so I'm not going to stream that. I'm not going to stream it. I've already beat the game. I even got the achievements because I'm good at I'm good at games, you know. Nothing says you're good at games as uh, you got the achievements. All right, we'll keep going. <laughs> See, oh, I don't know when was the last time I saved. Oh, that's really painful. That is a uh, that's a shocker. It really is. But you know, it's. Uh, This game has been a bit of a pickle sometimes. I remember that time. What was? What were we doing? We left the vault, and there was some sort of known issue. Well, actually, look, it's no. It's, it's yeah. It, it is Fallout 4. I mean, these games are all notoriously buggy. So, I mean, Fatal Crashes is one thing. I mean, it's sort of different to have like, oh, this person is flying, and then to have a fatal crash. I mean, I'm. But, you know, anyway. But anyway. I don't know, it's so... I'm not sure why... Uh... What happens? What happened there? Like this... Uh, what if my save is corrupt now? <laughs> what if that's it? What if that's game over? Also, I didn't uh, I didn't see anybody congratulate me for 54,000 gamer score. I don't think I saw anybody say grats. So <laughs> So guess who's going on the cranky list? Did you get to 54k, mate? Congrats! Is that is that what the me neither is in reference to? <laughs> that nobody congratulated you for 54k? Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> that's not nice at all. <laughs> wow. I congratulated you and you didn't and you didn't even do it. You didn't even do it. Wow. And yet I did it and nobody congratulated me. Unbelievable. Wow. That's just that's what I'm working with here. Apparently that's what I'm working with. That's just not right. That's not right at all. Bum, bum, dun, 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 Nah, it's good. I, I saved before fighting this dinosaur. So, where did I go from here? Oh, uh, was I heading this direction? Oh, that's right. I went to those offices. Oh, yeah. That's what I did. <sighs> Where was that? <laughs> Hashtag triggered. I'm going to call it whatever I want to call it. I killed it fair and square. Fair and square. I may call it whatever I please. Whatever. What? What day is it? Oh, it's Thursday. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Thursday.
Alright, I have to I have to beat this area again. Because if I don't two hundred percent this game, I'm no better than a common scrub. Although considering how much I've played of it already. <laughs> considering how much I've already played of this game, I'm I'm already above and like I've played more of this game than people are supposedly like it. That's... But that's the thing. That's what the... That's what the intellectual does. That's what the... A researcher does. They immerse themselves. You know, that's what an anthropologist does. They immerse themselves in the culture. And then you have to deliver the findings. That's just the way that it is. What is... Th I don't want this. Just get rid of it. It's weighing me down. I didn't have any problems until I picked this thing up. Where is it? Bottle cap mine. Drop. What was it? Oh, this. Hey. Oh. No, it's weighing me down again. Oh my god. How did I do... How do I manage? <laughs> how do I manage to get... Slowed down so easily? I thought I'd sorted this entire issue out. And now I'm still carrying way too much garbage. Alright, we'll have some vodka. Alright. I think we'll sort this area out, and then I'm I'm gonna go. Unfortunately, we did one second of the story mission. I said I was gonna do more. We talked to Virgil. That's that's about as much as we can get done today. Wow, that was a bit of an overreaction, don't you think? Exploding like that. Goodness. What is this? What is this place anyway? Oh, a technical document. Great. Oh, I stuck here. So I guess I need to take this. And now... Aha! Uh -huh, right! And then this is where I got ruined. Let's do a quick save. Nah, look, I'm gonna slay you, dude. I'm gonna slay you, because you broke my game earlier. I'm gonna blow your head off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now we're even. Who ruined my game? It, it all crashed. Oh yeah, that's that's the other thing that I need to do is I need to send uh, Nick Valentine somewhere else, and I need to take a new companion. God, if I could just find the dog, Honeybug. That would be perfect. Sweet. But I don't know. I don't know where I sent him. It just... It guts me so. <laughs> I could have lost the dog just like that. <sighs> I... And you type in you type into the into the internet. You're like, hey, what happens if you lose the dog? And they're like, well, all right, well, there's no easy way to find where you left him. It's ah, oh. you have to go to every single settlement, every possible settlement. That's what you need to do. What happened? There was like one more floor downstairs. Oh, I'm level 47. Am I? Great.
These levels seem so short. Ooh, now we now they now <laughs> the explosions and the double explosions. Oh, that's gonna be great. Oh wait, I was oh, okay. So I already did look in all the possible areas here. Look, I'm just trying to stretch this out so that you uh you get just a moment longer with me. Maybe that's maybe you're like, oh, why are you punishing me? Why's the stream gotta go for this long? Maybe you're like, oh, please don't go. Going down. Either way, it's only a couple more minutes. Going down. Well, I'm clearly going up. I'm clearly going up. What do you mean going down? You don't know. You don't know anything. You don't know anything, Fallout. You don't know which way I'm going. You don't know this, you don't know that. It's just... I feel bad for you, dude. I feel bad for you, Fallout. I'm sorry. I feel bad. You used to be a game series where you at least knew the direction that you were going. Is there nothing out here? Just one more place to, uh... One more cheeky place to explore. So this is not actually a named area. That's a bit interesting. What's the reason for that? I saw this, uh... This here, this toolbox. Why are they not damaged at all? Everything is absolutely annihilated, and then somebody just... Oh, this looks like a good place for my toolbox. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I'll just, yep, put down the wooden crate the first aid. It's simply too much, yeah, it's simply too much to ask. We... Ask the player to use their imagination in these kinds of moments, okay? Use your imagination. Okay, guys? This is not a big thing to ask, alright? Sometimes you have to help us out. We can't make the game ourselves, you know? Sometimes you have to make the game. Wow, look at all these areas. Why are there so why are there so many out here? And why would they draw the map knowing that? They they draw the map and then there's this entire area which is outside the map. Why would they have bottle caps? Imagination and instinct. The two eyes. There's no eye in imagination. <laughs> Best ring blowfly. How about you fest to somewhere else? Wait, does this fight? Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> what is this Slenderman? What is going on? <laughs> I turn around, and there's some um, being there's zombies and there's skinny guys and they're all hitting me. What? What is this? What is this temple? I swear, this area for some reason just reminds me of a uh, of RuneScape. Wasn't this? What was it like? The wil wildy wilderness? Magneton with no eyes.
Oh my god! That's fantastic! Magneton. Isn't that a Pokemon? Magnemite. Magneton. Wow. What is... Don't tell me they made an air... Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, you're going down here. Look, we're just going to ignore that I was... Uh, that little... Uh, <laughs> little jump scare that I experienced. Seeing uh, Nick Valentine walk up to me. We're going to ignore that, alright? And I'll tell you how we're going to ignore it. By completing this area. By extending the stream just a l moment longer. What is this place? Sentry bot model. What's this? Is this for the door? Oh. What about the invoices? Mr. Honey randomly loses mobility and falls to the ground about four times. Four time a day. Asked if he knew what could have caused the issue. Will reported seeing the neighborhood kids throwing baseballs at the robot. However, no physical damage noticed on inspection. Labor 16 hours. Mechanic report. But no physical harm was noticed. One of the guys did find some loose screws inside. Upon further inspection, it was determined that the propulsion fail switch was being activated by one or more of the loose screws causing the handy to fall to the ground. Wow, that's really, that's so, such, so cool, wow. Jared brought in his Mr. Handy after noticing it constantly bumping into things around the house. Labor, eight hours. Two of the three optical sensors have been wired incorrectly, causing the bot to ma mistranslate incoming data on its surroundings. This bot has been so heavily modified, I'm sure it's breaking all kinds of federal laws. Wow. That's crazy. Jessica brought in her company's Protectron after several co-workers complained of a mildew smell coming from the bot. When I asked... Uh, apologies. <laughs> what was that? When asked about any potential causes, Jessica reported that the company did host a happy hour last week and things may have gotten a little out of control. The Protectron may or may have not been involved in a pool party. Lower compartment was completely filled with water, drain, clean, rinse and drill. It'd be cool if these... Terminals had something to do with like a quest or something. Alright, let me explain what just happened there. I think I had been pooling some saliva in my mouth. And then I realized how much <laughs> saliva was in my mouth. And then I... <laughs> and I gulped it down. I know you, I know you wanted to know that. I, I had to explain it. I know people would be asking that question. Just, what, what, what happened there? You know, it, that's it. That's what happened. Oh no! This guy always deletes my game file. That's his, that's his secret power. He just crashes the console. Oh, phew. That was close. What? Well, how am I carrying too much now? What are you talking about? Alright, that's it. That's it, I'm done. I'm done for today. I'll uh, angle myself in this direction. So that next time I can switch... Oh no, the pyramid. Oh no, I gotta need, I need to know what the pyramid is. But I'll, I'll, I'll tease it. I'll be a bit of a tease. I'll get to the pyramid, but I won't explore it. Whoa. That was a good line, Nick. And that's where we're going to end it. Look at this happy snap. 
All right. Hey, thank you all so much for hanging out. I do really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to do this and that and the other. Um, and I'll be back, you know, with something probably tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe not. I'll keep you posted in the Discord as I usually did before I didn't, I suppose. It was a bit of... Last two weeks were a bit silly. I'll, I'll admit, the last two weeks have been a little bit silly. Um, I, I sort of... Uh, had some things. Had some things that I had to take care of. And I, I didn't have too much inspiration. And... Uh, but it's all good, you know. It's all it's all back now. I need to start from the start, you know. I need to learn how to press the A button, and I've got to learn how to speak and look into the camera, and uh, waggle my finger when you do something wrong, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. But yeah, see you, Ultra. See you, Dan. See you, everybody else. Um. Yeah. All that's left to say is all the best. All the best. Have a good one, have a good one, and I will see you when I see you.